educate and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. I think it means that the job of uh, landing something on the moon where there's no atmosphere and using a rocket to slow it up uh, and having the equipment still work is a very difficult job. We've been brought in here by Stanley Kubrick to uh, more or less ensure the scientific integrity of the film, to make sure that it's uh, uh, very, very close in reality, but still we want to make certain that it has a base of reality. Before the end of the 60s, we will see a man in the moon, to the moon, an American, and we're very proud that our country continues to produce uh, these uh, young men who go so far uh, and uh, carry with them so much. Uh, to put uh, people uh, on the moon uh, and with enough fuel uh, to enable them to return safely home to Earth requires is still a larger and more powerful rocket, however. Uh, it's going to take some time, and I think we have to recognize it. They secured these large boosters, which have led to their being first in Sputnik and led to their first uh, putting their man in space. We are, I hope, uh, going to be able to uh, carry out our efforts with due regard to the problem of uh, the life of the man involved uh, this year. But uh, we are behind. An aggressor nation that dominates space then dominate the world. We're in the final assembly building of the LEM. Stanley Kubrick and I have set ourselves several objectives. We hope to convey to the public the wonder and beauty and promise of the new age of exploration, which is opening up before the human race. Arthur, here we are on the LEM ship, and uh, one can almost imagine we're on our way to the moon, or we've arrived at the moon, as a matter of fact. Can you believe it? Can you realize that we, that you and I, that all of us, have actually begun the exploration of another world? We have taken the first historic step into our solar system. Take one. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Take two. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. We, the crew of Apollo 11, are privileged to, to represent the United States in our first attempt to take man to another heavenly body. Man walks on the moon. Man walks on the moon. First man from Earth walked on the surface of the moon this morning, and the suspense here in London is unbelievable. Hello, Apollo 11, Houston. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming down the ladder now. Okay, Neil, we can see you coming. I'm going to step off the lamp now.